All right. Uh, more on the FBI number two, Andy McCain. He is stepping down. We don't know all the reasons for that, uh, but how does this change the environment there? Uh, let's ask former Deputy Assistant Attorney General Tom Dupree. Tom, I'm hitting you with a lot on very little, uh, but what do you think happened here? Well, I think it became pretty much impossible for Andrew McCabe to do his job, Neil. I mean, look, law enforcement in general and the FBI in particular, uh, th these folks really pride themselves on not being the news story themselves. They like to work in the background. They like to you know, focus on their jobs and not be the subject of chatter on cable news all the time. And clearly, the spotlight, uh, for better or for worse, had gone on McCabe, and I strongly suspect that he ultimately concluded he just couldn't function and kind of do his day-to-day -day job in the way that he really should be able to do it. Uh, just given the you know, political pressures that were coming down on him. You know, Eric Holder, the former attorney general, has responded to this, saying that FBI Deputy Director uh, Andrew McCabe is and has been a dedicated public servant who served his country well. Goes on to say bogus attacks on the FBI and DOJ to distract attention from a legitimate criminal inquiry does long-term unnecessary damage to these foundations uh, of our government. Um, I guess we'll hear things along party lines to that effect. What, what, what do you make of it? Yeah, what I make of it, Neil's look, on, on one hand, you obviously want to have as much transparency as you can into the law enforcement process, the decision-making process, particularly as it pertains to the Russia investigation, the Clinton email investigation, and all of that. You want to get as much transparency as you can. At the same time, I think you need to be careful and to really try to separate uh, people who might have acted with improper political motives. We saw all of the, the texts from you know the people who were on Mueller's team. You want to separate people who really acted from improper political motives from the rank and file day-to-day -day FBI law enforcement agents. I mean, it's my view that if there is a problem over at the Justice Department, it is not widespread, it is not endemic, and I think what we really need to focus on now going forward is really just identifying individuals who might have played an improper political role, but doing so in a way that doesn't tarnish the FBI or law enforcement as a whole, because those institutions are absolutely critical to the safety of our nation. You know, uh Tom, we're learning from John Roberts, our White House correspondent, that the White House was taken by surprise by this announcement, had no idea it was coming. Uh, what do you think of that? Well, if, if, if that's true, I mean, it's heartening in the sense that we, we saw Chris Ray gave some pushback from the media reports that the White House was pressuring him to fire McCabe, and he basically said, thank you very much, but I'll make my own personnel decisions. Um, I thought that was the, the right stand for Director Ray to take. And In if, fact, if, he had said it forced on him, he, what the reports were, he would quit. Right? Uh, absolutely right. Yeah. And so if, if the reports that the White House was caught off guard are true, then at least that's some evidence that this was not something that was really forced on the Bureau, but that it was McCabe's own decision to retire under his own circumstances in a time of his own choosing. You know, we're learning from this Washington Post story, and it, this might be a Washington Post story, that the president was curious to find out what he met with McCabe for whom he voted in the election. First of all, what do you think of that? And secondly, is, is that illegal? Well, I, I don't think, you know, as, as a general matter, you should be asking people uh, those sorts of questions, uh, particularly people who are, you know, acting in a, a nonpartisan, right. nonpolitical law enforcement role. So if, if, if the White House was, you know, enforcing any sort of, you know, litmus test and looking into the voting backgrounds of people for these positions, I, I, don't, I don't think that's the right way to go. I don't think anyone in this country wants to see law enforcement get politicized in that sense. Did anyone ever ask you, Tom, when you were there, who you voted for? No. <laughs> By the way, while I have you, who did you? No, I'm kidding. Uh, Tom, thank you very, very much. Seriously, you're, you're, right. you're a very smart guy to have on a day like this. Thank you, my friend.